Howdy gang. So I just got this device from Opal Kelly. This is a uh, XEM 6002 board. It's got a Spartan 6 FPGA. Up here on the top it has eight LEDs. There are four mom buttons and four PMOD connectors. So these are these fancy things that Digilant uh, has been making and seems to have become a de facto standard. Um, it's really all it's got to it. Uh, this is a 14-pin JTAG connector and I, I believe this was called a Z-Mod or a Z-Bus connector. I don't know right off the top of my head. This thing again connects up with a USB mini and does not need a breakout board. As soon as you plug it in, the light comes on for self power. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I've been playing around with this and I've made a first light program for this, a Hello World. And uh, this brings up an interesting thing, which is what Opal Kelly claims, and I'm going to prove right now. So, we see here the uh, piece of software that I wrote just to try to get things to originally connect to the uh, XEM3005 board. I've not changed this at all. So if I click connect and one Opal Kelly device attached and the serial number for it. So I have connected it up. I'll go ahead and load a bit file that I created tonight um, first light 6002 uh, the bit files called blinky and I guess you'll see why here in a minute I got to, whoa let's see if we can break a board right off the bat so four moms press mom one and I get a ring counter to the left mom 2 and I get a ring counter to the right mom 3 uh, they go one, 0, 1, 2, 3 um, adding 1 it's the standard uh, software off by 1 problem right uh, mom 3 and we just blink and then mom four, we do sort of an inverse Xylon thing. Uh, looks to work. And so that tells us that the Opal Kelly front panel drivers are good for at least these two, and I assume every board since they say they are. Uh, oh, this one's PLL is set default to a 100 megahertz clock for clock one instead of the 50 that the XEM 3005 is running uh, <clears throat> and uh, obviously uh, a lot less I.O. available. This is more of a hobbyist thing. Uh, I think this board all set up and ready to go like this is $180 but I am not sure right off the top of my head because I didn't have to foot the bill for this. So, yay me, not having to foot the bill for things. <clears throat> and yay Opal Kelly tech support for uh, helping me get the software running last time. So, alright, that's it I guess. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.